Hey, so I just wanted to make this quick video in case anyone's in my position where you have a new Fuji X100F and you have the uh, teleconverter lens, um, either the tele or the wide conversion lens that screws onto the front of the camera. Now the Fuji X100F has a little magnetic sensor in the front of the lens element here that um, detects whether or not the new uh, teleconverters are attached. So um, they're built into the newer teleconverters, but the uh, version one, the X100S, which is the version I have, uh, does not have that magnet built in. However, what's nice is that Fuji provides these little um, really nice boxes for their products. If I can get this open. And it has, what do you know? magnetic clasp on it so there's two magnets here uh, to make this work and you can see the imprint for this one here and there's another small tiny one here okay so if I have the camera here and I have the little magnet positioned here if it's in the right place you can see that little light pop up there that is for the teleconverter lens so what I'm going to do real quick is just take a knife and cut out the magnet here, which you can see is got the magnetic. Okay, so you can see I just scored a nice little perfect hole there. So then once you cut it out, you have your nice little magnet there. And what we're going to do is tape this in place on the teleconverter lens. Okay. So essentially the process is we take our little tiny magnet and we figure out what point on the front of the camera that it activates the little conversion lens. You see that icon pop up there. Um, so if I spin the camera around here, you can see that at the front, it's somewhere uh, on this front element that it, uh, it detects it so you take your magnet and essentially how this works is that when you have your conversion lens um, that screws onto the front of this and the back plate the back plate here uh, will have your magnet seated in here somewhere let's say there um, and then you tape it in place so it's all about figuring out um, a the polarity which side of the magnet faces it and uh, be the position. Okay, so this will be the case on all cameras because it needs to be standardized, but um, the area on this camera where um, where the magnet actually hits is uh, on the front element here where it says Fujinon. Um, the J-I-N, pretty much J-I-N-O, um, that's where the sensor is embedded, so uh, when you put your little magnet there, I don't know if that'll actually stay. No. Uh, when the magnet's in place there, it, it activates the um, the teleconverter, S the detection, anyways. So when the lens is attached, we want um, the magnet to be seated, um, essentially where it's going to line up in here where that uh, uh, J I N O and Fujinon is. So. Uh, now it becomes, you know, when you screw this on, where does it wind up? So we put a little piece of tape as a marker to figure out exactly where. All right, so I've installed, uh, stuck on a little piece of tape um, where um, the magnet detects that the sensor's in place. So what I'll do is I'll just, you know, fix it to... Um, fix it to the teleconverter lens and then screw it off with this in place so I know exactly where um, I need to stick my magnet. Okay, so we see now that I've unscrewed the teleconverter lens, I know exactly where the magnet needs to be placed. So essentially it fits in uh, this little groove in here. So I'll place the magnet if I can get up here in this position and actually before I do that it's important to know um, because this is based on polarity which side actually affects um, which because 
one pole of the magnet, either north or south face, um, determines whether it's the wide conversion or the uh, teleconversion lens. And since I'm adding the teleconverter lens, I want to make sure that um, the correct pole faces the right way. So I'm going to test that now. Okay, so what I did was I put a little dot on here to indicate that this is the side that faces outward. Um, No, that's incorrect. <laughs> um, let me read okay, so take two. Um, the dot actually needs to face downward, so the side that does not have the dot should be exposed. And seated in place here. So that needs to be pushed forward just a little bit. And that's almost perfectly in the spot. Okay. That's good. Sorry for jerking the camera around a bit there. Alright, so now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up a piece of gaffer's tape. And if you're a photographer and you don't know what gaffer's tape is, essentially it's um, really good for... Um, it's essentially duct tape without the residue. It's not as strong, but uh, essentially you can tape stuff in place and it holds it really tight, but it doesn't leave any sticky residue. So I think that'll work perfectly for in here. Um, and if I notice it coming loose, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know. I'll update the video. Okay, so that's essentially it. You can see it there, um, right in the center of my original tape guide. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is just uh, take the guide off and then uh, screw the lens onto the camera. Let's see if this actually worked. Okay, and now the moment of truth. worried about cross-threading this so I kind of just twist it a bit but I seem to see it pulsing on and off and we can see that little T there on the screen over here right here uh, that means that the tel it detects the teleconverter lens so it has automatically enabled it um, so I no longer need to go into the menus themselves and enable it myself, which would mean going here. And uh, yeah, it already detects that the teleconverter lens is on if you look just below the highlighted one. It says conversion lens tele. So uh, that's pretty much it. And then <laughs> essentially you have all the, uh, you know, all the steps required, all the tools required um, right out of the box, literally, um, to do your own teleconverter lens. So thank you for watching. If you found this video really helpful and interesting, if you could give me a follow on Instagram, I would really appreciate it. Thanks.